Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. The Beatles have continued to stay relevant and inspire generation after generation long after Beatlemania hit the scene in the 1960s. The new documentary Beatles 64 reflects on the culture around Beatlemania when the Beatles first arrived in America. It's streaming on Disney Plus and I'm going to talk about it. This is Paul's trip to the movies. Beatles 64 acts as a timestamp and a reflection on history. The film opens with news footage featuring President John F. Kennedy, from his speeches to his death and even renaming JFK International Airport. America was in mourning, and it was only a few months later when a British boy band named The Beatles stormed onto the scene and changed the tenor and mood of the country. Now, Britain was fully on board with the craze surrounding the Fab Four, but it was appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1964 that really launched Beatlemania here in America. Now, newly released documentaries like Get Back and Let It Be use entirely archival footage that was remastered for their releases. Beatles 64 features brand new interviews and new insight into what made the Beatles skyrocket to fame. David Tedeschi directs the documentary, which features a lot of footage shot by famed documentarians David and Albert Mazels, who were there at the time, really tracking their arrival in America. The Mazels would go on to direct Greg Gardens, and their style was to kind of capture that kind of raw, unedited, everyday life as if the cameras weren't there. It's so fun to see John, Paul, George, and Ringo being their true, playful selves and not acting for the camera. Their banter and brotherly love is really infectious. Martin Scorsese is one of the documentary's producers, and there are a few scenes with him and Ringo Starr looking back at his costumes and sharing different stories about what it meant to be the band's drummer. New interviews with Paul McCartney are also featured as he uses his photography exhibit in Brooklyn to kind of tell stories about this time in his career. Now, part of the new interviews include people who were the screaming fans caught on camera at the Ed Sullivan Theater and outside the hotel just clamoring for their glimpse at the Beatles. They showcase some of their memorabilia they still own to this day and comment on how the Beatles' innocence and softness was something that fans really latched onto at such a volatile time in our country. They demonstrated a different type of masculinity where a man could be strong enough to be gentle. And then there's the other people who thought that the Beatles were sexual, devilish heathens. Beatles 64 doesn't shy away from the racial conversations that were also happening at that time. Some of the Beatles' biggest hits were written by Smokey Robinson and the Isley Brothers. Robinson comments on how grateful he was for the Beatles, but there's this acknowledgement of the double standard with white men becoming famous for covers when the original black artists didn't have that same kind of fame at the time. Now, you would think that after all these years, we would have seen all the footage and heard all the stories by now. There's something just enticing and reassuring about the Beatles that makes them timeless. Beatles 64 is a delightful trip down memory lane with fun new interviews with Paul, Ringo, their fans, and even people like director David Lynch and feminist icon Betty Friedan offering their commentary on why they love the Beatles. I'm giving Beatles 64 four out of five ticket stops. If you like my review today, click subscribe on my YouTube channel so there are movie reviews, some celebrity interviews, and I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment here on YouTube. But what are some of your favorite Beatles songs? Are you excited about Beatles 64? Let me know in the comments here on YouTube or on social media. Follow me at Paul's Movie Trip. And then go to my website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for even more reviews. Thank you so much for watching my review of Beatles 64. This is Paul's Trip to the Movies.